of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the CFFC lightweight champion of the world, Paul the Irish Dragon Felder. All the instructions in the locker room. Do you have any questions? Any questions? Obey my commands at all times, respect each other at all times, touch gloves, come out swinging. This bout is being sponsored by Yin, America's oldest crew. Referee in charge of the action once the bell rings, Liam Kerrigan. Well, there, you, there you heard it, Liam Kerrigan in charge of the chaos in the cage. It's gonna be Johnson, it's gonna be Felder. Felder in the gray tights, Johnson in the white trunks. And when it's all said and done, we might have a defending CFFC lightweight champ, or we might have a new one slated for five fives. And again, tonight's championship bout, our main event sponsored by Yingling Brewery, inside the Borgata Hotel, Casino, and Spa in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Rich Canuna is ringside with my broadcast partner, Mike Adams, who does not believe this is gonna go the full five. Already, you can see Craig Johnson does not like that kick from Paul Felder. Felder's very good with punches and kicks from distance. He's got a great spinning back kick. And in the clinch, he's very good with the Muay Thai clinch, throwing knees and elbows. He likes to throw knees to the body and knees to the head. He's got a very diverse striking attack. He has a very crisp stand-up game. See who gets the first shoot and takedown of the night. That's going to be the story of the fight there. Johnson shoots. Felder has got to defend that takedown and keep the fight on the feet. And you can't underestimate the wrestling background as Johnson. We've documented it. Tennessee State wrestling champ fought out of Tennessee Chattanooga NCAA D1 wrestling championships. That's a little bit more of a desperate shot there. And he's leaving his head open for Felder to throw that knee to the head. Nice overhook Felder has on Johnson. Felder raining down an elbow, trying to get position. Felder pressed digging up for the underhook on that left side. Pressed up against the cage. Nice. Johnson almost had the takedown there, but Paul's making him pay for it. Yeah, raining a couple elbows down as well. Think twice about being in that position. Johnson with a couple knees. Good knee strike, another knee strike. You see Johnson getting that hat out of there. He's moving his head from left to right to the middle to stay away from those elbows. And Paul's taking a peek to see where he can land that elbow. Here's the Muay Thai, oh, he almost had the Muay Thai plum there, and that's where he's Good knee. Man, brutal knees. Tried to drop Johnson's head a little bit. If he would have met, that could have been lights out. Oh, another knee! He was eyeing that up. That knee to the head. Very high knee that scored. Felder seems extremely poised and relaxed. Yeah, he does look oh, exactly. Got the single, does Johnson? He's working hard for it. Yes, he is. That's why they call him relentless, man. He he just goes straight ahead and doesn't let up. Well, that, the, the wrestling background. I mean, the, the ground game is going to pay dividends if he can get Felder to the ground. That's a big if. He just paid the price with another knee, and look at that. Boom! Oh, another right by Felder. Look at that shin landed on the oh. on the nose. Felder smelling blood right now. Oh. Good kick gets caught though. Take it down. Take down by Craig Johnson there, and that's what he needs to do. Those elbows, they weren't visible to us, but we just saw the damage that they did on the chops of Johnson, bloodied already and bruised in round number one. Oh man, Johnson is in a world of trouble right yeah, he now. Yeah, Liam Kerrigan is looking at Johnson right now. Johnson, the, the wind it. You Johnson. said this fight wasn't going to go five, Mike. Johnson got the takedown, but because Felder was landing nasty elbows inside the guard, Johnson got the heck out of there, and now he's trapped. Anywhere he goes, Felder's stalking him. Cutting off the cage. This really is a shark stalking his prey right now. He's and this is going to get ugly, Rich. Well, under 40 to go, see if Johnson can get out of round number one and regroup. 
If not, you're right. This could potentially be a stoppage. Johnson got the fight where he wanted it and then had to get out of there because he was getting, uh, Felder was inflicting damage. So now it's like, what does he do next? And that's a great point. This is, if he gets out of this 20 and he might not, we'll see. Switch attempt there by Felder. It's just limiting the damage that's been done. Felder looking for that oh, knee to the head. Knee. Almost caught him. Great round number one for the Irish Dragon. What I wanted to express to you, Mike, is that it's a situation where Craig Johnson just, he had to survive round number one. Yeah. And if he can get through round number one, and the doctors are really looking at him, if he can get through round number one, you know, maybe he can, he has a little breath of life, but he took a beating. Now this is the perfect example where you look at some guy and you say, don't judge by the face. Yeah. The mar no, 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 no. <laughs> that's can, the damage that was inflicted you by can Paul do that Felder. On this one for right. sure. And that's that's a world class striker, man. Felder's nasty as a nasty striker. Great right. And he pieced Craig Johnson's face up in that first five minutes. And the whole time Felder was defending, he's just. He's seeking out where he can land his elbows and his knees. Yeah, and he's just it's all premeditated. The, yeah, the Irish Dragon just bopping up and down. You know, I, I actually, you could argue, you can score that a 10-8 round. round. Yeah, absolutely. You can definitely score that 10-8 round. Now, we'll be conservative. Call 10-9 in favor of Felder. One of the books between Johnson and Felder. CFFC lightweight title on the line. Paul Felder defeated Mark Stevens to earn the belt, trying to defend it this evening. Close out a great night of CFFC action at the Borgata Hotel, Casino, and Spa. Trying to close it out in style. Johnson's eating those kicks. Oh, and he just ate a right, and smart thing. Yeah, he does a good job with the takedowns, but Felder, nice wizard there, got back to his feet. This is kind of where you can separate and see the difference between, and I don't want to call Craig Johnson, who's a good fighter, a one-dimensional fighter, but it's obvious he doesn't have the stand-up game that Felder has. Wow, not even close. It's not even close. And now again, Paul's making him pay for the takedown attempt. Elbows. And you see Craig Johnson, see the head in the middle? That, that way Felder can't land elbows on the left or right side. His head is safe there, but it's not comfortable. Right. He can inflict any pain, but he's not going to absorb any pain. He's going to get an elbow or two. He's going to eat one, though. This is where a lot of fighters will just break because they have no option to win the fight. Everywhere they, everything they try, it just, it gets stuffed. And not only stuffed, but you pay for it. And that's what Paul's doing. He's making them pay for all these opportunities here. Early stages, round number two of five between Johnson and Felder. Our main event, sponsored by Yingling Brewery. Johnson looks like he's hurt, Mike. Yeah, he's, he's backing up. He, he's not, his feet are not level. He's been taking a lot of damage. And getting hit by Felder is a little bit different than getting hit from, you know, an average fighter in there. Sure. He's a heavy bone guy. When he lands those kicks, they're heavy. Yeah, he's definitely hurt. Look at that blood coming down his nose, and he looks winded too. The mouth is wide open, and you look at Felder, his mouth is closed. He looks like a beast, he looks like an animal. He's just stalking, ready to go. Nice jab there by Johnson. That caught Paul's attention a little bit. I like to see a spinning back kick here by Paul. Caught him again. Spinning back kick, watch for the spinning back kick by Felder. Catch him right on the ribs, catch him in the gut. Uppercut. Yeah, and Felder snuffed out that shoot, great job. Knee there by Johnson. Felder returns the favor. Oh, that hurt him. Oh, that could have broke a rib. It might be all over. Johnson, with a lot of heart, gets back to his feet, but he's hurt. Felder smelling blood. See if he can end it right now. This fight's over, Rich. This fight. Liam Kerrigan watching it. Johnson showing some great heart. Yeah, absolutely. He might. He just might have absorbed too much damage. He is hurt. They're saying in the ribs, get him in the ribs. He might have really ruined it. And, and Mike, I got to tell you something. Johnson's he finished. shot. He yeah. shot. He doesn't even know where he is right now. Liam Kerrigan is watching closely. Paul Felder connects one or two more times and gets this fight on the ground. It's over. You know, I think 
Paul is actually maybe even be showing a little. No, you, you can't. You can't be reserved. You go for the kill. Look at Johnson looking all over the place. Wiping blood. Almost gets caught with an uppercut. That blood is bothering him. I think the next big flurry that does some damage, the referee may stop the fight. He almost covered up. He's fighting backwards. He just has no He's answer got nothing. And, nothing. And nothing to offer at this point, Craig Johnson. And it's not a knock on Craig Johnson. He's just going against a great fighter. Oh! Oh, goodness! Oh, my mercy! You've got to be kidding me! Spinning wheel kick. Oh, my goodness! Are you absolutely kidding me? Paul the Irish Dragon Felder, not once, not twice, forget about fire in the cage, defends his CFFC lightweight title. That right there is not only the kick, the move, the knockout of the year, bar none. Yeah, it's absolutely. CFFC action. First of all, let's make sure Craig Johnson's okay. He took a nasty wheel kick, and he is out of it right now. He has no idea where he's at, and it was just a matter of time before. I think Paul was thinking about, how am I going to finish him? What am I going to do? Throw a high kick, a punch, a hook, a spinning wheel kick, and that's what he landed. He landed on the chin, and Craig Johnson was gone out. He, that, this fight was over. My opinion, this fight was over halfway through the first round. It was just a formality. Listen, I agree 100%. I agree 100%. We're, we're going to look at one of the phenomenal moves we're going to see all year long in CFFC action right there. Boom. On Flush. the chin. And Liam Kerrigan, great job jumping in there. He even telegraphed it. You saw that Edson Barbosa did that to uh, Terry Terry Edom. And the worst thing to do is when you're a fighter and you're pulling out, never lift your head and your chin. You are exposed. I Listen, go to that round number one. We didn't get to see the damage that Felder was inflicting on Johnson. When Johnson turned around to close round number one and we saw his face, yeah. It, he was done. He was he shot, was done. Mike. He had nothing. He was he was running on fumes and, and running on him, pure heart. I give him, yes, exactly. I give him all the credit in the world, a lot of guts and a lot of heart. He just ran into the Irish Dragon yeah. like so many have. All right, you let's can't make go it. in there with just, just a wrestling game. Yeah, absolutely. Let's make it official. We'll go inside the cage to Dr. David Sarnoff. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout was stopped at three minutes and 44 seconds in the second round. Winner by knockout by way of the back kick out of the red corner. And still the CFFC lightweight champion of the world, Paul the Irish Dragon Felder. All right, with, with that, we'll throw it inside the cage to Mike Adams. here with the champ. They say you're not the champ until you defend the belt. You did, you absolutely did that tonight here, Paul, and you put on an absolute clinic. I mean, Craig Johnson really had no answers for your offense, and it was just a matter of time before you finished him. Yeah, he, uh, I mean, I knew he was gonna shoot, and uh, I, they call him relentless, and holy crap, he, he is relentless, and he was on me, man. I, I'm used to shucking guys off from that double leg on the cage, and man, I, I elbowed him. I, my arm is sore from elbowing him. He took it and just kept pressing. And I, his hands were down, and we watched the tape, and I knew he was going to be open for head kicks. And bada bang, we got him. You know? I said the same thing. You were either looking for a head kick or spinning wheel. It was one, if something was going to land, it was going to land hard. Yeah, that's what we were looking for. And you know what? The whole fight, I was thinking, spinning hook kick, spinning hook kick. And boom, Edson Barbosa style, just bam, just cracked him with it. Absolutely, man. Hey, it's been absolute. Amazing time watching you perform in the cage. You're the champ. You're the champ. You deserve to be the champ. You defend your belt successfully. One of a kind right here. They call him the Irish Dragon, Paul Felder, ladies and gentlemen.